final of Britain's Got Talent 2016, where the nation's finest acts are fighting it out to leave here tonight with £250,000 and an appearance at the world-famous Royal Variety Performance. Next up is an act that blew everyone away at his audition, and then he did it all over again when he won the third semi-final on Tuesday. He is the military magic man who's full of surprises. It's Richard Jones! <laughs> I'm a soldier in the British Army. I love my job, but my destiny has always been to perform magic on stage. <laughs> this will see. I have won the semi final tonight. I didn't really start performing magic until I joined the army. It's something to focus on while I'm away from family. It's a family tradition to serve the country. My brother is currently serving abroad, but I know he's going to be looking out for me tonight. Richard, I just want to tell you how proud I am of you and how we're all supporting you out here. You're loyal, you're respectful, you're humble, but most importantly, you're really, really talented. So do what you do best tonight and go out there and win this competition. I love you, bro. It would be amazing to make him proud. My act tonight is very special to me. Magicians have performed similar illusions in the past, but tonight I'll be presenting my own version in honour of a very special person. A magician has never won Britain's Got Talent, but I'm really hoping tonight I could be the person to change that. Ladies and gentlemen, Richard Jones. Tonight, I'm going to be performing classic magic that magicians have been performing for many years, but I'm going to put my spin on it and use it to tell a story about a very special person and one of the people who inspires me the most in magic. He was born in 1918, and he went on to become one of the youngest members of the Magic Circle at the time, in 1936. When, war, when World War II broke out, he enlisted into the Royal Artillery, and he was sent to the front line in Singapore, where he fought bravely for king and country. While he was there, he underwent heavy fighting. He lost many of his friends, and he himself was shot numerous times and severely wounded. His family thought he was dead, but in fact, he was captured, and he spent the next three years of his life in a prisoner of war camp. Amanda, would you sign this card as quick as you can for me? While he was in the camps, he underwent brutal treatment on a daily basis, treatment that no person should ever have to go through. But one thing that did keep him going was his ability to perform magic. Because he would perform not only for his comrades to keep morale high, but he would also perform for the guards, who would give him and his friends extra food during the long periods of starvation. But he would have, his favorite trick was to have a sign, a name, to rip it into pieces, to burn it, completely destroying it, pass, fix. And in a second of impossibility, restore hope among his comrades. This is the story that makes me proud to be British. This is the story of Mr. Fergus Ancorn. to you tonight, the man himself, at 97 years of age, Mr. Fergus Ancorn. Amazing. Well done, Richard. Wonderful. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Come forward, Richard. Uh, Alicia. Oh, my goodness. Richard, that was so incredible. Um, poignant, noble, brilliantly British, and I just loved everything about that. You are wonderful, sir. That was fantastic. Thank you. Oh, Richard. 
found that so emotional. Absolutely extraordinary for you to be able to tell that entire story whilst yeah. doing all that with your hands. I don't know how you managed it. And it's such a pleasure to meet Fergus. It's wonderful. Can I just say, my grandmother is 95 and single and in the audience if you want to meet in the bar afterwards. She's right there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I echo what the guy said, Richard. What a respectful, appropriate time to do something like that. <laughs> really. And uh, it's, not, it's not easy to kind of remember what you were trying to say, to tell a story, to do the trick. Um, and it was so appropriate after 10 years of Britain's Got Talent that you chose this night to do what you did. <laughs> Amazing. And... Also, I salute you, Fergus, and thank you for everything you've done. Thank you so much. Thank you. It, was, it was brilliant to do military-themed magic. I mean, I've never seen that before. And also, it was just so emotional. Yeah. You know, as we were hearing that story and we all had tears in our eyes. I've never felt that at all uh, with a magician before. So it was incredible. I think you'll really want to watch tonight. I really do. <laughs> Thank you, George. You're fantastic. What an honour to have Fergus here this evening. Absolutely. And to also have the band of the Household Cavalry as well. That's your band, isn't it? It is my band. That's your band. <laughs> Lovely to have you here. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, Thank you very much, gentlemen. Uh, Richard, come forward because we need to have a look at you. Because if you think Richard is the winner tonight, then the number to call from a landline is 0902 442402. From your mobile, it's 644402. Or vote for free via the app. But voting doesn't open until we've seen all of tonight's ads. Thank you for being with us, Fergus, this evening. Thank you so much. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it one more time for Richard Jones. Yeah.